StreamYard is at it again, y'all. I mean, the functions, features released at breakneck speed. Man, somebody needs to call up StreamYard and tell them, y'all, y'all doing too much. No, no, no. We, we appreciate it, though. Woke up this morning ready for Amazon Live Prep because it's Black Friday. Got all my stuff around me. Really seriously focused on getting my Amazon Live stuff ready and set to go. Then I get this message from StreamYard and said something about a new feature release. So I'm thinking it's one of the ones that we were expecting, right? No, I was wrong. We have never heard them talk about this or speak about it or mention it or hint towards it. It's called StreamYard SlideShare. And I'm, I'm excited about it because I love to pre-stage stuff, right? Pre-staging all of my stuff for my live shows, either for myself or for clients. So being able to pre-stage a presentation, right? An entire slide deck could be huge. So ready to dive into that in this unplanned video right now. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, we show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, funnel clients to your business, or establish yourself as a thought leader. And in today's video, we're looking at StreamYard SlideShare, the latest feature release that happened today. So let's dig in. So here we are on the desktop looking at StreamYard. We're going to go ahead and enter the broadcast room and we're going to look at where we can find where we can find SlideShare, where we can find SlideShare. So it is down here on the bottom. You see where we have the share button here down on the bottom. Let's zoom in a little bit down on the bottom here. We have SlideShare. And if we click that, you'll notice that there's something new here, something new. And I don't know how many places they're going to place this new button in StreamYard, but excited to see it. So it says slides new, right? We could always do video file. We could always do share screen, but now we have slides and we click this. You'll notice I've already loaded a presentation into the system already loaded. That's already something to think about. Um, you'll also notice here that you can load from Google Slides stick a pin in that one because that's that's uh, something to watch out for. And you can also load, of course, from your computer so we can load up uh, a presentation from our computer. So let's let's actually click on your computer. It's going to work the same way with your Google Drive. I'm not going to show that one, but I do want to show this screen here, this screen here that says slide sharing tips. OK, so it says we currently support Google Slides, PowerPoint and PDF. I actually like to export my presentations as a PDF. So this works well for me. So, so Google Slides, PowerPoint and PDF. Keep in mind, like for those who use Keynote and Canva, you can just export to a PDF and then pull that right off of your computer right into StreamYard. Video animations are currently not supported. We recommend adding them as a separate video file. I wouldn't even worry with video animations. But because the, the, the ability to be able to load these up ahead of time is far outweighing, you know, the little gimmicks that you do with your video animations in your slideshow. So don't worry about that part. So you have these tips here and you can go ahead and load your presentation. Let's do that real quick. I'm just going to load up the first presentation I can find, which is one that we did this past week for tips to optimizing your website and look. It's processing and it's sitting in the bottom down here in the bottom. It's sitting here ready to go while that's coming up. I'm going to click here, go to slides. And I want to show you that now instead of one, I have both of these slide presentations in here ready to go. And so the one that I'd already loaded, it's here and I can put that on screen and you can see and add myself to the stream here. You can see now that I've added myself to the stream that I'm here and you can still select some of these other uh, layouts, either the picture in picture or you can select the full screen presentation or you can have it to the side or you can do the news layout where you have it smaller. Either way, it still functions the same way for those. But notice when I put my mouse on the screen, let's choose the picture in picture. When I put my mouse on the screen, we can actually go through all the slides by using the arrow keys here. The arrow keys on your keyboard do not work. Uh, stick a pin in that one as well. Um, but when you get to the final slide, you do have an X to remove it from the stream. So it doesn't remove it from the studio, but it does remove it from the stream. We can then add another presentation 
and we can click through that presentation as well. And again, when you get to the last slide, it gives you the option to remove it from the screen. So that is how that works. That's how that looks. And you do, as I mentioned before, have the ability to not only upload from your computer, but also from Google Drive. Again, this is a great option. Thank you, StreamYard. So, man, listen, it's some of the, some some things to consider right off the bat. Here are two predictions I'm making. You heard it here for first, folks. We are probably going to see hotkeys for slide decks, right? For the slide share, we're going to probably see hotkeys to be able to advance those uh, slides in the PDF format or wherever format you have. We're probably going to see that. We're probably going to see uh, uh, not only hotkeys for that, but we're also going to probably see some further integration with Google Drive. Um, this is my first time seeing Google Drive integration with StreamYard and, you know, you have to go through the whole, you know, accept the rights and all that stuff. And, and I don't think they were only going to do that just for SlideShare. I think that there this is a part of a larger plan. So we're seeing a picture starting to come together, folks. It's going to be amazing. Keep on watching. If you are a StreamYard user, let me know in the comments how what you what your predictions might be, but also how you think you'll use this new feature. And if you want to see it tweaked in any way, I am only interested in getting the hotkeys. I'm interested in StreamYard. If you're listening, please give us the hotkeys for the slide share feature. Thank you so much yet again for this new feature that you've given us. Um, man, one of the things I always love about you guys being on this channel is the fact that we get to engage in this way. Sometimes it's planned, sometimes it's unplanned like today's video, but it, I'm hoping that you always receive value. Um, go ahead and make sure you subscribe so you can continue to be updated and notified when we put new videos out. If StreamYard continues like this, I'll be doing two, three videos a week maybe. But either way, there's other things as well. Our live show, the midweek huddle, tons of value there. And then of course, what we're doing on Amazon Live. We hope that you guys are getting value from all of it. Hope that you're taking this journey with us because we wanna grow in all these spaces. Hit that subscribe button, make sure the notification bell is on. And as always, it's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping it's somewhere in the video today. We got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. And we'll see you in the next video.